Thank you. Yeah, it's been a crazy 48 hours, but we're very, very, very happy right now to have him in. So you chartered a helicopter today to make sure that uh, Boris will arrive safely? No, unfortunately <laughs> <Probably> not. <laughs> no, we, we were pretty sure he was going to arrive safely. Uh, Boris doesn't take too many risks, so... No, we were pretty confident, but it was still a pretty sleepless night for most of the team. Um, just, you know, keeping in communication with him and making sure that everything was going well and kind of running smoothly to the finish. You know, obviously it was slower than we thought it would be, but we were, yeah, just super, super happy to see him and so proud uh, to watch him cross the finish line. It was, to be honest, one of the best moments of my life today. So, Could, could you tell us uh, how was the feeling with uh, Boris? Was he happy too? Yeah, he was so happy like incredibly happy to be honest and i think like yeah it's a huge weight to you know sail around the world and have so many people watching you and he's an incredible communicator oh sorry I'm turning the music off everything is fine uh, i'm actually still in the press center at the race but he's an incredible communicator anyway and uh, i think today people could see the emotion coming out of him and how excited he was especially going up the channel and it was really nice to see people distance but lining it um it was an incredible incredible day and i saw on twitter especially all the congratulations from all over the world alex thompson for instance um very important and very nice that, that everyone right. was happy yeah exactly it's been to be honest the support has been amazing i mean obviously everything that happened last night was very uh yeah not expected and the level of kind of care and nice messages that Boris has received, particularly actually from the other skippers in the race. So the other sailors in particular have been really, really supportive. And Boris has received, I think we had the most traffic on our sites that we've ever had. We had comments from all over the world. And I think people felt felt with us, you know, how much how we felt last night. I felt like most most people that follow us felt that too. Um, so it's in a way, it's nice to feel that you have that support from, from everyone that's watching and following Boris. Yeah, Holly, this is a really great job. And uh, we will send many, many greetings to Hamburg, to Boris, to you, to your team. And also the very best greetings from the first mayor here in Hamburg, Dr. Peter Tschentscher. Um, he asked me to send many greetings to Les Alpes de Lonne, And uh, we are very proud and happy that he made it. And he's really a hero. And we are very honored um, to have you here in this uh, in this Zoom conference, in the middle of Harbour City, where uh, Boris is living. So what's your plan, what the, what's the plan for Boris uh, for the next days? Getting some sleep, that would be good. I think no one in the team has slept for about 48 hours, so definitely having some sleep and, I have, you know, and having time with his family and uh, you know, his daughter and everything like that, that will be one of the key focuses. And then I will probably be annoying him to do media and lots of other things on top of that at the same time. But we also just want him to, you know, settle in and enjoy being back a bit as well. And we'll probably stay in France for some days. And also, he, you know, so he can see some other boats and competitors come in. It was really nice today. We had Damien Seguin and uh, Giancarlo come in just behind Boris. And so they actually got to see each other and do all the media together. And it, it's a really nice, you know, feeling and I think an atmosphere for them because they've shared something so unique uh, that most of us don't get to experience traveling through the ocean and around the world. Holly, um, after a long sleep um, for Boris, after 48 hours when he will get up, please give him a big hug from Hamburg, from Germany and thank you very much. And from yeah. all the team of the German Ocean Foundation for sure. Yeah, thank you so much. And he will, be, he will be on the next one, definitely. I know he would want to be here normally. Um, and he's very, very proud to partner, uh, particularly with the German Ocean Foundation. It's an amazing, amazing initiative. And I think, yeah, we have lots more things to do in the future together.